you need to know that all students are automatically awarded for this scholarship hence you do not need any separate application these two universities in canada do not require you to write ielts as a test of english proficiency before you are being offered admissions into studying with them they also have relevant robust scholarships available for international students in their in their different categories of subjects offered at this uni on this particular video i'm going to take you through these two universities websites for you to see these yourself and to be convinced that they do waive IELTS and on the occasion why they do waive IELTS for international students hello the greater you welcome back to my youtube channel i'm so happy to have you back thank you very much for all your support on this channel you all know i'm very grateful thank you so much if this is your first time of seeing me hello welcome to my channel my name's charity i'm the founder of the greater you a uk registered trademark and a, and a platform i have created to empower all educational needs improve professional and personal development of all young people across the globe to becoming the best versions of themselves so we are a global community gearing at empowering each other's mind towards greatness <laughs> today as you've already seen the title of this video we are taking you to two universities in Canada there's so many of them I'm gonna be bringing it to you in subsequent videos so this particular unis do not require you to write IELTS they have alternative they have exemptions they, they they have waivers for you and I'm going to take you to their website for you to see it yourself and the first university that have scholarships for international students and do also waive IELTS is what we called Waterloo University. The University of Waterloo, which is located in Ontario, Canada, have excellent award scholarships for international students who are doing postgraduate studies like masters and which are research based. Students from all subject areas are eligible to apply for these scholarships and you are being awarded this scholarship on completion of your profile with the university's application portal. The award of this scholarship is 2,500 CAD per semester and this is renewable for the period of five years, that is period of five semesters. You need to know that all students are automatically awarded for this scholarship, hence you do not need any separate application. So let me take you to the University of Waterloo's website where you're going to see this exemption of IELTS yourself and let's explore the website together. Hi, the greater you. Welcome to the University of Waterloo's website admissions. How I got here, graduate programs, international admissions. I got it from here. So let's go together. I came from here, admissions, Canada admissions. I'm PhD. If you're interested in doing PhD, transfer. Then you go back here. You would see admissions requirement. You come down here. You see admissions requirements. And you come down a little bit here. You would see English language requirements. English language requirements. So I'll click there. It takes me to English language requirements for undergraduate program. Um, see. Do you need to take a language test? You need to provide an English language test score. Good. If your four most recent years of full-time education have not been in English language or your first language is not English. So obviously what this means is that if you're from a country like Nigeria, 
um, others who whose first language is English, then you are exempt from presenting IELTS. Or if it's not, they have specified here, then you, you must present IELTS. And they have exemptions. So you may be exempt from submitting English language test scores if you meet one or more of the following exemptions. Check it up here. If you've studied in Canada before, then you are not required to provide English language. See it here. If you are from Francophone Canadian, then you are not in, uh, you are not uh, required to provide an English language test score. And if you've if you've studied in an English language school, then you are not required to to re, to present um, IELTS. So. You are only required to present IELTS if you are not from an English-speaking country, obviously. So that's when you write IELTS. I hope that makes sense and also confirms my information to you. So do well to join the family of the Greater You by subscribing to our YouTube channel and remain a loyal and committed member. Perfect. Do you mean that for me? Welcome back. I believe you've learned a thing or two. So now let's move to the next university, which is the University of Manitoba Scholarship. This university have waived IELTS and I'm going to take you through their website. You're going to see it yourself. So they have opened international scholarships for, of course, overseas students. The worth of this scholarship is 14,000 CAD per year and it is open for master's students. Doctoral students are also eligible for a scholarship of 18,000 CAD per year. These awards are renewable for up to four years. You need to know that students who are pursuing the medical programs or MBA are not eligible for this scholarship. It's a shame. They're basically reserved for master's and doctoral students in other programs offered at the uni, exception of medicals and MBA. So now let's touch best at the University of Manitoba's website. Hello, the greater you. Welcome to the University of Manitoba's website. Yes, so we are going to international graduate student requirement and we are going straight to English language requirements if they have waived it correct so let's go to you can see here English language proficiency requirements so let's click that perfect you could see this English language proficiency requirement English is the language of instruction and communication at the University of Manitoba where an English language test score is required as a basis for international documented proof of English proficiency must be submitted to admissions for application. What am I saying? With your application for admission. You can see it here. Great. So, and others. So, let's move to where they have actually waived this for you uh, to learn more. Great. Once you click that to learn more, you can say, you can see um, English is language of instruction, like you said, received. So to meet English language proficiency requirements, applicants must either have the following. Can you see it? Must either have the following. Either you receive a high school diploma or a university degree for Canada, from Canada or one of the countries listed on the English language proficiency test exemption list for you to be exempted from IELTS. Other than that, you need to supply IELTS or you must submit a passing English language test score, which is IELTS, correct, which is are these. So you can, if you scroll down, you would see countries that are exempt from English language. So this means that English language is waived at this um, particular uni, but it's not completely waived. There must be some certain criteria you have to you have to meet like i said before so applicants holding secondary school diplomas or university degrees from the following countries are exempt from english language proficiency like my my nigerian friends i'm from nigeria so you know in nigeria is obviously on this list so if you are from 
Angulil, um, Angulila, um, Atiga, Ascensions, all these Barbados, all these are lists of countries that are exempt from presenting IELTS. Let's see if we can see Liberia, Malawi, Malta, New Zealand, Namibia, Nigeria is here. Yes. Yeah, Nigeria is here. So if you are from Nigeria, you will not need IELTS in this to, pre to prove your English proficiency in Monitaba Uni. Zambia, Zimbabwe, Virgin Island, and the rest. Um, for example, from my Indian subscribers, Indian community, India is not here. So obviously, you would need IELTS. So you can see that they have exempt IELTS with the, some conditions. Welcome back from the University of Manitoba's website. And I believe you've learned a thing or two as usual. And you've seen these things yourself. If you need help on how to apply for any scholarships or if you need mentorship, we've opened our mentorship for this particular month. So you can touch base on our website on the description box below www.thecreatoryou.co.uk and go on the contact us section of the website fill up the form and we will be able to get in touch with you correct if you have any question please do well to drop on the comment section i'll be happy to take on them and also if you have any specific video you would like me to talk about or specific topic of interest do well to also drop it on the comment section i'll be happy to help you with it if i'm able to Thank you very much for staying tuned to the very end of this video. Please do it to like, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can know when I post a new video by clicking the notification button and it will help us in the YouTube algorithm. Do not forget that I'm rooting for you and do not stop rooting for yourself. See you at the top because that's where we all belong, the greater you.